To address the spread of misinformation, we all need access to reliable, accurate information from trusted sources. This is especially true when it comes to COVID-19. Staying informed through trusted sites is a good way to help manage the stress we are all feeling these days. At a personal level, understanding the numbers can help make sense of how and why decisions are made. In Halton, we continue to use emerging scientific knowledge and public health data to help us make the right decisions in our response. Key to the response, not only in Halton, but around the world, is the work of epidemiologists. At the local level, epidemiologists conduct local surveillance to understand the spread of COVID-19. They use this data to find trends and give us the information we need to make informed decisions to help control transmission. In Halton, we post this information on our COVID-19 interactive dashboard. This dashboard is an easy to use tool that provides a summary of COVID-19 in Halton and includes some of the indicators used in the province's Keeping Ontario Safe and Open framework. You can use the dashboard to explore data on the number of cases, case demographics, including age, sex, and exposure group, outbreaks, lab testing, vaccine delivery, and more. You can choose an overview or take a deeper dive into data from a specific time period, municipality, or demographic group. In a sense, the dashboard provides a way to showcase science as it is happening in real time. This situation is always evolving and we continue to update and build out the dashboard, so check back often. For example, we recently added vaccine data and information about the number of variant of concern cases. There's a lot of different data to sort through, so I'll walk you through just a few of the key indicators and explain what they mean. Let's start with the weekly incidence rate of COVID-19 cases, which you'll find under the monitoring tab of the dashboard. This measure tells us how many new confirmed COVID-19 cases were reported among Halton residents in the past week for every 100,000 people living in Halton. For example, a weekly incidence rate of 50 per 100,000 means that for every 100,000 Halton residents, about 50 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 were reported within the past week. Next, let's take a look at percent positivity. This is the percentage of tested Halton residents who had a positive COVID-19 test result. Visit the lab testing page to find out how many Halton residents have been tested for COVID-19 within the past week of available data and what percentage of those residents had a positive test result. A higher percent positivity can signal that a larger proportion of residents have COVID-19 and that COVID-19 is spreading more quickly in Halton. The dashboard uses stoplight colors to signal the status for each monitoring indicator. For example, green signals that the incidence rate is at its goal of 10 or fewer cases per 100,000 residents. Orange signals the incidence rate is between 10 and 39.9 cases per 100,000 residents. And red signals that the incidence rate is 40 cases or more per 100,000 residents, meaning that the measure is moving away from its goal. You can also visit the neighborhood map page to see an interactive map of COVID-19 cases by Halton neighborhood. By hovering over a neighborhood on the map, you can see the number of cases and the rate of cases or number of cases per 10,000 people for different time periods of your choosing. You can find the total number of doses administered in Halton to date combined or viewed separately for the Halton Healthcare COVID-19 Vaccination Center and Halton Region Public Health and Paramedic Mobile Teams. For now, this information will be updated once per week on Fridays. As we get access to more information from the provincial system, we will continue to build out this part of the dashboard. I invite you to try out the COVID-19 data dashboard by visiting halton.ca slash COVID-19 and clicking 
current cases in Halton. Share credible knowledge with your friends and family. Be informed, stay safe, and as always, please be kind to one another.